Oh my goodness, this is the first time I'm doing this. Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I'm going to do my uh, yarn haul opening and I wanted to show you. I don't know why I'm ta taping like this, but I guess this is how it works. Here is the finished blanket. I just finished it. I think I have one person. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the finished. Everyone was wondering. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my garden and show you my garden. I hope this is working. I don't have a clue. <laughs> so, just gonna show you my garden a bit. We have a little bit of a garden that we have here are my parsleys oh my goodness here are my parsleys I have a little bit of mints there Fresh onions, basil, <laughs> smells good, oh my goodness, tomatoes, fresh beans, potatoes, to go back inside it's pretty loud here so I've been alive for three minutes <laughs> oh my goodness okay so I'm going to show you my yarn haul I've been doing I haven't bought for three months and then I started to buy yarn Okay, going upstairs. It's so hot in here. It's so, so hot. Okay, so let me come in here and then I will. I wish I could pause this, but I can't because it's alive, right? Oh my goodness! <laughs> I never done this before. Okay, I might need to. Uh, I don't know. If I this is the first time I'm doing this alive, and uh, it's pretty challenging. <laughs> okay, so here's the yarn that I bought from Ice Yarn. Oh my goodness. Can you see it? Fortunately. Yeah. This is the yarn that I bought. And let me turn it so you can see the codes if you're interested. 
So this is a cotton yarn. This one. It's called um, Omigurumi yarn. Cotton yarn. It is pretty thin. I thought it would be a little bit thick, but it's a thick. It's a number two. So I might need to two ply on this. And here is one I want to make the same blanket, but using this. That's the reason I bought black yarn because I'm gonna. I'm going to be uh, using the black yarn. Can you see my stash there? <laughs> it's all the yarn all the, up to the ceiling. Yeah. So this is cotton as well. And here's the code. If you're interested of the code. It's 63393, Lorena Print Gold. So it is pretty good. Okay, and here's another uh, cotton yarn, Lorena Worsted. This was uh, out of stock, so uh, I put, I gave a, I gave my, I know, I pushed the notification. So as soon as I received, it's they have it in their stash. Their, uh, that, that, that it was back I ordered one bag because this is like $11.99 I believe and I only can go up to $20 so I don't know which I think I bought these two first because I can't go over 20 then there's a custom fee so uh, this one is uh, this one is pretty good so I, I might be using this to make the baby blanket on the same blanket that you just saw and I do have the tutorial but I don't think this is going to be enough because I used about two cakes. So about 500 gram of the Caron cotton cake that I used. Okay, and then so after three months, I ordered two. So this is the cotton, uh, baby cotton burgundy. This is the code 53067. So this is 100% cotton, okay. and it's, it's uh, the name is uh, Gita, can't read, Giza, Giza, Giza cotton, baby cotton, so this is pretty good, very nice. Do you want to see my stash? <laughs> One of my stash. One of my stash, my, my whips. Yeah, my whips. Here is a mountain full of my whips waiting. See, I started a scarf. I started another one. There's, it's all the way. I have to finish this. <laughs> and I have more here. They're, they're in containers waiting for me to finish. Here, <laughs> they're all, they're all my whips, believe it or not. Yeah, they're all my whips. Oh my goodness, I, I hope I live to finish them. <laughs> okay, so I had uh, on Marketplace, my local, well, she's not local, she's in Kelowna, BC. So she was selling her, I think she's closing her yarn store because I lived in Penticton for three years and I never heard. So she must have recently opened and she's shutting it down. So I love lime green. Everyone knows how I love lime green. <laughs> lime green is my favorite. So as soon as I saw it, I said, how many do you have? She had a total of uh, six, six balls. Six balls of this. You know what? Maybe I should put this on a on the uh, stand and I show because this is getting too hard for me because <laughs> uh, the funny part is the camera I usually tape it from the back and f uh, because it's alive I hope it's alive I don't know am I talking to myself I think it's recording I haven't checked the laptop but uh, yeah the thing <laughs> is I'm only seeing like the front oh Someone replied. Hi there. Let's see. Oh my god. So everyone can see me. Good. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Hi. Hi, Nancy. Oh, 
Nancy, Nancy, Nancy from Ontario. I hope you're good. You were going to go to the doctor. Oh, hi, hi. So I am alive. So everyone can see me. That's good. I better take my gum out of my mouth. Oh, I've been chewing all this time. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go and sit because I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time showing you guys. Oh, hi. Okay, so everyone can see me. I was kind of hesitant. I thought nobody can see me and I'm talking to myself for 10 minutes now. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bag that I stuck in here in my closet. And I'll take that. Actually, I have two bags. <laughs> and I'll put it on my stand. And this way you guys can see it better. Because this way... Uh, I look at Michael's. Here we go. Yeah, I went three months later. I went yarn shopping. It's been three months, and I've been using my stash. And it's like, oh my goodness, it's, it's good to use the stash, but uh, you know, uh, it's, when you don't have the yarn, I'm just gonna check something. I'm just curious if I'm I was recording or not. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. I think I am alive. Oh boy. Nancy, you've been telling me. Nancy, you've been telling me. Oh. Nancy, you've been telling me. Oh. I can hear myself. Yeah, Nancy keeps on encouraging me. Why don't you go alive? Why don't you go alive? So I am alive. Okay, here's my craft room. You're going to say, wow. <laughs> so these two rooms are all my stuff, all my yarn. Can you see? It's up to the ceiling. Well, I had over a hundred of this container, so I haven't count, but I did shrink maybe 60 containers. And I did sell a lot of my containers that I emptied. Yeah, so I have these. These are all my whips down here. Everywhere is whip. So I'm trying to finish at least two so I can start another one. Here's, uh, they're sitting in the baskets waiting for me to finish all my whips everywhere and I have yarn here too can you see yarn 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 everywhere okay let me just put this here and I'll show it to you okay I was not prepared at all I just wanted to ha see how it was done and it asked me it asked me to uh Oh, the camera. I have to hold it like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was focusing itself, but it wasn't. Oh my goodness. I did not know that. Something I learned today. Well, this is, like I said, this is the first time I am, I am alive and, uh, it's new to me. So uh, I'm just trying to get my, uh, thingy here. Oh. Uh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, uh, I'm trying to use cotton yarn to do the baby blanket. So I did use uh, about two pounds of uh, the cotton yarn that I had in my stash. So it, it, it was good. But then uh, I noticed that I needed to, to uh, buy some. And, uh, yeah, let me see. I think this would work better if I put it on the, yeah. Okay, I think I need to hold the camera like this. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yes, Nancy, I know you're from Ontario. <laughs> it was hot, but now, uh, no, it's still hot here. I went to the post office. I thought it was windy. Even it's windy, it's it's uh it's hot. Like I'm sweating. I I'm holding like I pull my hair up because you can see how I'm sweating. <laughs> oh. And I have this uh, top. It's my God. I bought this years ago in 
Crazy drivers. Uh, I bought this years ago, but the collar is so open at uh, Pennington. Yeah. Did you guys know that they're closing at Chanel? I was there on Saturday and I was so disappointed. <laughs> Said, oh my God, all of the plus size stores are closing. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can have this work. Yeah, I, uh, I am. Uh, not organized. I just wanted to see how it how this would work, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting more people. It says five people now. Oh, six people. Thank you. Oh, uh, well, I just wanted to see how this uh, works. So, uh, like I said, this is the first time I'm trying this, and. Yeah, now see it's uh there's three bedrooms upstairs. So I made one of the room as a craft room. My uh printer is here. I think this is better, huh? What do you guys think? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I was talking about this yacht. Oops. Oops, no no. Why did it fast? Oh, the leg I didn't lock. Well, I'm learning. I will be better in the future. I'm sure I will be. My numb nose is so... Nancy, yes, I'm alive! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I haven't read. Uh, I only see Nancy's, uh, but they're on the laptop. I can see it. Mukates! Mukates! Yes! Good to... <laughs> I jumped in! I jumped in! I wanted to show you my garden, but I don't know if I did a good job because I'm holding it weird, right? Yarn nut. Yarn nut. It says yarn nut. Hi, yarn nut. Yarn crochet. Hi, Gia, Gia. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you, guys. Okay, I was talking about this yarn. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's about 100 grams. She only had about six balls, so I picked up. So I'm thinking of making a top for myself, and I will do the tutorial, and I hope I have enough. That's why I bought the burgundy. I just wanted to see how, I thought it would be the same. So I, I was gonna order the green, but no, it, it's a different yarn. It looks like, but it's mercerized yarn. And I believe it's in, uh, it doesn't say where it's made in, but um, I think Russia or Ukraine. Yeah, it doesn't say where is it made in. I could have checked to order more. But yeah, if I don't have enough, I have to check it out. But it's a lovely lime green. It's not that neon. It looks like it's neon on the... Oh, on the laptop, it's good. It's good, yeah. On the camera, it looks like neon. So I bought six, and it's very good quality, so I will start that as soon as possible. I, but I did get an order from you know, UK, from England, so I need to finish. She's getting married in uh, October, so I'm going to knit a bridal shrug. As soon as I finish that, I will start light green. Nice color. Yes, 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 Nancy. <laughs> It's a nice color so I bought six of these after three months not buying yarn even when they these arrived I would hesitate to touch the package it's scary still because uh, there's lots of people who, uh, who who lost their lives because of this terrible virus and last night while I was checking uh, Facebook and I found out Elvis Presley's grandson passed away. I don't know how, but I think, uh, yeah. I want to go into the details, but uh, yeah, He's, he was 27 years old, so I felt so bad. And then uh, Kate, what's her name? I'm not good with names, but I felt so bad. She was fighting cancer, breast cancer, and uh, she lost her life, another John Travolta's wife. I felt so bad. 
I that's why I don't I try not to go on Facebook I don't watch news I don't watch TV because uh, I am so emotional and uh, she was only 57 very young Kel Kelly Preston rest in peace yeah sad anyways <laughs> just wanted to point out I, I felt so bad bad about it but what can you do life goes on for us the one that the people that they live yeah Elvis Presley's grandson very young uh, Lisa her daughter is about my age 51 years old I believe uh, yeah it's sad but what can you do anyways let's go back to my yarn oh my goodness I went crazy because Michaels I'm sure everyone went to Michaels well in Canada we only have Michaels Walmart they don't have clearance well if they do we don't see it because it's already sold out or you know it's it's tough to find it's tough to find yarn that's on sale but uh yeah so I went to Michael's I try not to because I, I was also selling my yarn that I have in my stash and my yarns are very expensive like $20 value for uh, their hand painted or hand spun uh, uh, that I bought and uh, I'm glad to see you yeah <laughs> yeah the mist just pops up when's your birthday it was uh, November 9 I turned 51 yeah November 9 was my birthday I'm 68 born so uh, November 9 68 I think yeah and uh, yeah that's my birthday so I bought these yarn uh, I bought this is the same yarn that Sheepy sells I did a tutorial I believe I did a tutorial on octopuses and uh, I ordered I just wanted to feel how the yarn was and I didn't the same yarn is sold on ice yarn as well same quality I'm just gonna check is this made in Turkey yeah it's made in Turkey when I was in Turkey last year for three months, I did not see. I keep on touching my face. Can you see? <laughs> but in normal, yeah, in normal life, I don't touch it. But when I'm outside, because we're not supposed to touch our face, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's it must be stress or anything. Anyways, so uh, I bought this yarn. It's very nice and soft. So uh, I bought whatever I saw. Like everyone went crazy probably so and I picked uh, this color this is a uh, nine it says 90% cotton and 10% uh, acrylic I, I'm trying to buy cotton yarn because uh, I also sell my finished items on my Etsy shop if you go to you fat you you is my husband's first initial and F E R U F E R F E R is my initial so you fair and then I found out it means ground like soil that's what it means I didn't know I just we just added uh, the same uh, uh, his name and my name my my three initials you fair if you go to youfair.etsy.com you will see that I sell my finished items some takes a while some you know you never know it depends and uh, yeah, I put my finished items there so uh, and then there was this blue this nice blue you know what I maybe I should give you the color name I if you can find it I don't know this is called berry uh, color a lot is eight four nine five six okay this is like a mint green it says aqua yeah, turquoise yeah and then this one is eight four nine six one nice I only had one color of that one yeah unfortunately and this one is blue it says blue it is blue it's uh, 84962 okay and then uh, I think this is navy indigo like all the colors good Nancy Nancy, you must be happy. Nancy Strand, you must be happy because you kept on uh, commenting, do a live, do a live. <laughs> so I am doing a live. Yeah. And uh, this one is 84963. Okay. And I think, and uh, there was only one color of this. 
I don't know what color, but it is purple. Pretty colors. Yes, yarn knot, yarn and crochet. You must be new to new to my channel. I have never seen you. Not uh, yarn knot, yarn. Gia, right? Your name is Gia. Yeah. Where do I get my yarns? Well, this one I got it from Michaels. The green, lime green, I got it from... Uh, from Kelowna, she's closing her store. If you want, I can send a link, but most of her yarns are from uh, Ice Yarn, Yarn Paradise. Please tell us about myself. You wanna talk? Okay, I can tell you about myself. Yes, I am new. I was on YouTube and saw that you were live. Glad I caught you. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is my first time alive, so I have never been. Hi, Jewel, uh, Jewel of God, hi. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> okay, so, and then I got, because I did, I do get uh, custom orders. I had this lady, she ordered two socks that I did the crochet, that uh, crochet socks. I, I did it with uh, a mercerized yarn that I had left over. She bought that one and she said, do you have, can you do it in uh, bamboo? I said, yeah, I have bamboo yarn. And I added a, a cotton thread and I uh, crocheted her uh, and she loved it so uh just in case bamboo uh i like bamboo love your videos you make very pretty things thank you jewel of god thank you so much i'm happy to hear that that's nice okay so uh this was one pack yeah mukates uh, <clears throat> my father he came from turkey he went to germany in 1962 i believe and then he, he came to Canada in 1965, I believe. And then he came here. He was young. He was, uh, I don't know, 22 when he came, 23. And then he, he worked, he became a welder. He went to school and he studied and he became a welder. And then uh, he went and married my mother. And then my mom came and I was born here in Edmonton in 1968, November 9th. And uh, he, then my mother was pregnant, second, so they went back home to Turkey. Where I am from is uh, my mother and my father, where uh, they're from is uh, Umurbe. It's called Umurbe. It's Bursa, Gemlik, Umurbe. It's a, it's a town up seaside. It's gorgeous. The weather is gorgeous. So uh, my sister was born there, and then uh, I, I, I was so young, I think I was two and a half, three. I barely remember, and then the, we came back, and then I, I went to school here, of course, elementary. And I did not know how to speak Turkish at all. I think I was 10 when I went, when we went back. It was 1978. I, I, my, everyone was crocheting and knitting. I was 10 years old. I felt so bad because everyone my age, everyone was crocheting. And I started to cry. My grandmother, my mother's mother, and my father's mother said, Don't cry. We'll teach you. You'll learn. The neighbor's girls will teach you. So I learned. I kept on learning. Oh, my nonstop. I love to learn. And uh, I kept on work, doing crocheting, knitting. Uh, uh, embroidery uh, cross stitch oh my goodness I, I keep on posting the things that i find the pictures i take pictures and i post them on my instagram you are you are welcome to check it out so uh that's how my life was i'm canadian born but my background is turkish my i have two sisters and uh they don't know they don't they're not like me they don't crochet and knit like me i speak german oh my oh <laughs> <laughs> I tried to learn German. I couldn't because of the daddy does. It was so hard for me. I kept on speaking English because it's very close to uh, German is very close to English. Like bread, bra, like the words are very similar. Com, come, uh, welcome. I, I was speaking English and I said, the teacher said, you're not, you, you're going to, you can't learn it German if you go like this. So I said, I gave up. I said, forget it. Yeah, love that. Yeah, so that's how it happened. And I met my husband, believe it or not, I saw my husband in my dream a year ago, and uh, I saw my son, but you, you don't know that he's gonna be your son, right? A year ago, I saw the, the, both of them in my dream, 
and I was coming back to, I went to visit Turkey and I was coming back, I believe I was 22 then, in 1991. I met my husband at my, my cousin's uh, in-laws. We went to visit and he came to visit. I said, oh my God, this is the guy that I saw. And he never left me. Like he kept on messaging, calling. And then we, uh, two years later, we got married. I lived in Istanbul. Yes, I lived in Istanbul for about uh, three years. Oh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous city. You cannot finish. There's so many historical places to go. Oh, for three years. Uh, meanwhile, I was pregnant, so I came back. My parents were in Edmonton, so I had my son. He was born in Edmonton. He is Turk. Yes, yes, he's Turkish. I met him in Istanbul. And then uh, my son, he was born here, and then I went back. And then we went to Gürcük. In, uh, remember, there was the big earthquake that happened. I lived there for two years, and then I came back to Canada. Just before the earthquake, if I lived there, I would have been dead, but I wasn't, so it wasn't meant to be. So we we came back, and uh, just, Turkey is a wonderful place to live. It's lovely, but for my son's future, because he's very smart. He's very good with computer. He's very good. He finished his school with honor. He got a scholarship. So because of him, and I only have one child. Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't have any more. So um, he's a big boy. <laughs> he's 25 at the moment. And yeah, so we've been living in Edmonton. And last year I went to Turkey. My husband had his uh, implant. They put three implant on his teeth, tooth. They put three. Well, the one didn't work out, but yeah, because in Edmonton, Canada, it's very expensive. But other than that, we live here. And uh, I opened this uh, YouTube channel in 2009, and I've been tutorials, but I wasn't very active. I had back pain. I had an operation. So uh, I'm back. I'm trying to uh, post more. But it's going slow because I've been seeing people just open their YouTube channel, I don't know, last year, and they have over 500,000 subscribers. I don't know how they're doing. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I'm just taking my time. I'm not in a rush. So it's uh, it's exciting. And uh, I, I keep on. Well, I bought these yarn before I opened my uh, YouTube channel. That's another thing. I got laid off. And then uh, you get EI. It was the first time in my life I got EI. And with that EI, I bought yarn. <laughs> I bought yarn, yeah. Yeah, I get comment. I can see the comments. If I read the comments, I don't want to, uh, you know, there would be a dead silence. So I'm not reading them, but on my uh, camera, it pops. So uh, it's a nice thing. It's a nice thing to see. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Six people are watching now. It's getting higher. <laughs> yeah, Mukates. That's how is my life is. Uh, born and raised in uh, Edmonton. Most of my life I've been in Canada, and I love to go back. We traveled a lot. When I was a kid, my father, he was a welder, so we went to Alaska. We lived in uh, Miami, Florida for uh, over a year, I believe. They traveled. He was a welder, so the union that he worked with, he can work in the American state, like uh, Canada and America, so he worked all over. So we lived everywhere in Canada and in uh in America, most of the states. Yeah, uh, that that's how we uh, we grew up here, and uh, I love going back to Turkey. It's it's a different. It's like going through the future, back to the future. No, it's like going back, but it's uh, last year when I was there. Oh, it's uh, the healthcare is beautiful there. Yeah. When I was young, I traveled more, but, uh, you know, when you get older, you have a kid, you have a mortgage to pay, you have to work, so it's different. When you're young, I would just go buy one-way ticket. I took uh, embroidery classes. I took a, I posted a picture while I'm doing a, a, on the black uh, Singer old machine, like I was, I took a course there. I took a course on how to sew. Here it's uh, they teach you in uh, high school, but it's it's not that 
good of what they teach, but back home you take that course. And it's free. It was free when I went there in 1990s, when I was young. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't read that last message. What did you just say? <laughs> Nancy said something. My Nancy, Nancy, you said my nanny did not help. Laugh at all. What, what name? What did you do? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Mukatis, I have me and my husband. I put, I did a, I put the pictures together. If you go and you will see when, uh, when how we got married, like there's pictures. So if you go and see, you will see my husband. Yeah. <laughs> So you're lucky to visit. Yeah, I'm Germany. I went to Germany, France. I I didn't like France. It was poop, dog poop everywhere. So dirty. I said, oh my God. <laughs> this was in nine, 1990s. Oh, I hated France. I said, oh my goodness, how do people live? You know, you're used to, like, Edmonton is a very clean place. It's very clean. And uh, when you go to other countries, you always compare, you know. England, it's raining all the time, so it, it's every country has this uh, different uh, things, and I don't know. I, I'm in Edmonton, I love it. We traveled everywhere, and we always came back here. Like we lived in Penticton, BC. It's a warm climate, warmer than Edmonton, and it's very close to the states. It's a border, like uh, about half an hour, and uh, yeah. Okay, let's go back to my yarn. Oh my goodness, I've been talking about about myself a lot. Okay, so that's my life, yeah. Okay, Michael's had lots of sale. Okay, and uh, I crocheted the blanket with uh, this yarn. So I picked up whatever I can see. This yarn is gorgeous. I would highly recommend this Caron cake. It says it's a white, but it's more like a off-white. But it's, it's nice to work with, and it's, it shows very good quality. Because I saw on Etsy people were charging the blanket that I made for about $300, $200. I said, oh my, I only put it, I'm going to mark it for $80. Because it's the yarn, I and I double it. So I use four cakes and I just double it. So $80 is, I think it's enough. Yeah, this yarn is gorgeous. So I bought whatever I can see. And uh, Saturday I went. I wanted to grab this yarn, but they were sold out, the one closest to me. So I grabbed the gray color. It's right over there. I will show it to you. And I found these small ones. They're not the same quality. It says it's made in China. But this is made in China, but this is not the same. So, uh, I don't know. This is more smooth. Well, this is smooth too, but it's... This is more... It, has, it looks like a velvet. Cotton velvet. I don't know. But this one is different. So, um... Uh, I'm sure I'm going to make something out of this. Be animal stuff, animal or dolls, I don't know. I will make something, but that's why I went with the cotton. And uh, you guys know cotton is expensive. It depends on where you buy. But uh, yeah, so I bought a couple of these at Michael's. They don't have that... Uh, 45, 50% coupons anymore. So maybe that's the reason they're having these big sales. So I was so happy to find out. Okay, I wanted to talk about the Alize. That's why I went to Ice Yarn, but unfortunately they are sold out. The yarn that I bought, I just showed you, is the same quality as this. This is 100 gram though. They, uh, the one that Ice Yarn sells is a 50 gram. But as soon as they put, I'm sure they're going to put some more in stock. Because that's where it's made in Turkey. And yarn is everywhere over there. So this is very good quality. And I really, really like this yarn. So uh, I would prefer to buy local. Because for those two packages, I paid like 34 Canadian dollars. Just for the four balls. That's a lot of money. I would prefer to buy yarn. And uh, that's why I'm always looking for the sales. Yeah, see, this is what I made out of these. And I'm going to make a baby blanket. And I bought the black yarn. So I'm going to do the black border. And I do have a finished project on my Instagram page. If you go into my Instagram, you, you can find out. Uh, you, 
can see. Oh my goodness, it's been 40 minutes. <laughs> I hope you can go back and watch my, uh, this, uh, I don't know how this works. But I'm alive right now, so everything is alive. But I think when I'm done, I'm sure you can go back and watch it. Because I'm not quite sure if I... Yeah, it's so pretty, isn't it? I just love it. This is called Alize. Over there, these are sold like for $2 Canadian. So uh, maybe the max would be $3. Uh, but when you buy it online and you pay the shipping, it costs more. Because Amazon sells these for $47. Yeah, but it's only four, four balls for $47. Me too, love to visit Turkey. It's in my bucket list. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's so many places to go. Highly recommend Dead Sea, Antalya. It's called Ölü Deniz, Dead Sea, where Cleopatra bathed herself in those years. It's in the Mer uh, Mer uh, Antalya, south of Turkey. It's a gorgeous, I, we went everywhere, but that, I don't know, maybe I had my honeymoon there. We went for my honeymoon. <laughs> In 1990, when did we get married? 1993, yeah, August 20, can't remember, 21st or 27th, 21st, we got married. So uh, after that, after my honeymoon, I went several times and I just, just to see, because the Dead Sea, you have to go and see it, it's a different, and there's other places to visit in the near, near area. If I find pictures, I will post them. <laughs> I would highly recommend whoever wants to go to Turkey. I would highly recommend Antalya Dead Sea, or it's called Ulu Deniz in Turkey, Turkish. So I would highly recommend. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they're very cheap there, but uh, to order online, it, it costs more. The people has to take it to the post office. Yeah, it says um, turn on your battery. So my battery, I'll just plug in my battery. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Okay, so I was showing you what I made with this. So one ball. I made three motifs. So one, two, three. And I just have a little bit left. So I'm planning to finish a baby blanket, but I'm going to do the edges with black and the border. So I, I just need to figure out because I'm not quite sure uh, how much because I don't have enough because of the Caron cakes. It's a huge ball, right? This is only 100 gram and I only had five balls I bought when I brought it here. Okay, so I showed you this and uh, there were $2 balls that I bought, but unfortunately there were not enough when I bought. So I bought whatever I saw. I should have bought all of them. And I did not go several times for yarn shopping because uh, I spend a lot of money, right? And I don't want to spend too much money. Here's another bag. Can you see my yarn? <laughs> They're all my yarn stash. Well, I have... Uh, I have finished items as well. That's another thing. Uh, I need to move my finished items. I believe I have four containers because I sell it on my Etsy and I put them on my clear containers and I sell them. So uh, that's another thing. So if I move them, I would have less yarn. And sometimes uh, it's really hard to use yarn from your stash. <laughs> oh my, because we don't have Hobby Lobby here. But Burnett, I noticed, because I'm looking at the people uh, when they're opening their, uh, when they're doing their yarn haul, if they're buying yarn from Hobby Lobby, I think Burnett used to sell, because I have those yarn, and I, I'm, I'm having a hard time using them, <laughs> so they're, they're in the container sitting there, because we don't have Hobby Lobby, like, if we use them all, we cannot, free to buy yarn from Etsy, much cheaper. No, it's not cheaper. No, no. Well, if I if I have no choice, I buy it on Etsy. Yeah, there there are lots of Turkish people who has yarn shops are selling on Etsy as well. It depends on uh, where you buy it. 
but I don't want to buy yarn because I have lots of yarn, but I still go and buy it. You know, it's that feeling you have the yarn, but you know, anyways. So I did buy this yarn a couple of months ago and I haven't started anything. And this is a gorgeous for a baby boy. So I'm going to make something out of it. It says it's 100% cotton. It's made in China and it's the cotton, it's the cotton colors here. So I have a total of four balls of this, and each ball is about 200 grams. And it has these lovely colors inside. Can you see? Aqua, gray. So I'm going to make something out of it, maybe a baby set. Lately, I've been selling my baby blankets. I had a customer, she bought three baby blankets. And I had another lady in Ontario, she bought two baby blankets. So uh, they do lately, or else I was selling maybe one baby blanket a year. So uh, that's why I'm focusing on baby blankets instead. Or I'm making, I'm knitting or crocheting for the homeless. Uh, if I, uh, yeah, for the homeless I do. So I bought that and uh, I, there was no gray color of the Caron cake. There was no white color, so I found the gray. It was buy two. I just bought this a Saturday. So it was buy two, get one for free. So it comes to one, uh, yeah, it comes to half price. It's a Caron cake. Yeah, you can see it, good. And then it's, uh, the name is called Silver Cloud. There's only one gray. I wish I could have find uh, white. I need I might need to go and check other locations okay so that's that so I bought a couple of those and this yarn was on sale and I noticed I have uh, two different <laughs> uh, purples in my stash so I'm going to I don't know this feels like a merino wool I don't know that's what it feels like it's so nice so I'm gonna make something out of this so this is, a, it says 100% polyester, but it feels like superwash merino wool. That's what it feels like. And it's Laylock. Again, this is Caron Kindless. So I might make something out of this, we'll see. And then here is another, I bought the white and I found this blue. I was going to make baby toys out of these, but I need the red color as well. So they don't have red in this particular brand. Well, they're sold out anyways, but uh, if it comes out, I will keep on checking my local. Uh, yeah. I used to order from uh, AliExpress, but because of this virus going on, I haven't all ordered anything. Oh, lie, lie, I'm lying. I did order a felting um, tool. It's hard to find red yarn. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true, yeah. So, uh, I don't know how two months maybe it will arrive. I did receive that it was shipped. But, uh, yeah. I haven't ordered anything from them since February. I did make an order. I had to cancel it. But other than that, yeah, I haven't ordered from China. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and what else? Let me just show you. So uh, I, I think I bought 10 of this. They're pretty big. They're about 6.3 ounces. So uh, 178 gram. I think 10. Uh, uh, no, I think 6. Yeah, 6. Crochet uses lots of yarn, so um, if you want to use up your stash, definitely do crochet. If you're a knitter, it uses less. So that's what I focus on. If I'm going to make it something, I always check uh, if I have less. Because I have this yarn. It's all, I only have 10 balls, so it's about 1 kilogram. 10 balls of yarn, so that's about 2 pounds, just over 2 pounds. So I need to figure out what should I make with them. And I'm a plus size. So you have, always have to think about this. So for one kilogram, what can I make my, myself? If I crochet, would it be enough? If I knit, it will definitely be enough. 
and crochet goes faster than knitting just to point that out and uh, I notice crochet is funner knitting I get bored <laughs> but I have to finish if I'm knitting something so I do not put it aside if I start it I, I finish it if I don't then it's I have a couple of them sitting from two years ago still sitting yeah unfortunately yeah and I'm still thinking what else did I buy I bought so much yarn yeah, I did start. I have a couple of tutorials coming up, but I'm not quite sure uh, when I can show them because I need to make, do it myself and then show it to you how it's done. So that's why I, it takes me time. Like I don't have any help. It's only me who process these. Okay, this is another yarn that is a gorgeous yarn, but unfortunately... I, uh, ice yarn doesn't sell this I checked and checked hopefully it's uh it's it's this yarn you can make anything with this oh my god tops and when you steam it it, it gets bigger and I uh, I did a I did a motif and I have a little bit left and I, when I was in Turkey I only bought one ball yeah, so I have just a little bit of this left and I'm thinking of maybe ordering because um, it's not that expensive. It's like $2 if you buy it. But the shipping cost, right? Gets triple the time you... Hi, could you be in 1966? How are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm here today. <laughs> okay. So uh, I highly recommend this yarn. And uh, there's a couple of yarn uh, brands like Alize, like this brand. There's this lady, she, oh, she does wonderful tutorials. Oh, but she does it so fast. It's really hard to catch. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, if you know this yarn, I'm sure it's sold in America because lots of people, lots of Turkish yarns are sold. 11 thumbs up. Oh, really? I just saw. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Someone gives me the thumbs down. If you look in my tutorials, you will see uh, the thumbs down. It's one person who does that. I don't know who's doing it. It must be one of my subscribers because uh, as soon as I post it, he or she gives me the thumbs down. I noticed that. I don't know what's, the, what's your problem. is. like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I know nobody's perfect, but still, you know, I would never give anyone thumbs down. Why? It's, it's not nice. I don't know. Yeah. So uh, in the States, I'm sure this yarn is sold and it's gorgeous and I would highly recommend. It's called Alize Diva. Yeah, it's mean, yarn not. Yeah, it is really mean. It's rude. Yes, those Turkish ladies crochet crazy fast, not for beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't understand her, but um, that's why I do her tutorials, because she shows up fantastic. <laughs> Nancy, yeah. So if you see this yarn, buy it, and you can make anything with this top, and you just give a little bit of steam, and then it goes fantastic. It feels like mercerized cotton yarn. Who's that? Who? I don't know who gives the thumbs down. I don't know who. Are, are you talking, Mukattis, are you talking about the thumbs down or who does the tutorial? Yeah. Who's that? I'm confused. <laughs> Turkish lady. Yeah, it's Alisa. If you go on to Alisa. Uh, she, they have a channel. It's the brand who sells this yarn, and uh, she ha she does tutorials. Yeah. yeah. Another thing I want to talk about is the brand. Okay, every brand has a tuning. Yes, yes, tuning chalish. Yes, yes. You're good, Mukates. Where are you from? Where are you from? Yes, tuning English. Yes, yes. <laughs> She's, she's fantastic. Well, she's a professional because it's her business, right? And uh, she's been doing this for years. Like, she's not new in town. She's been for years. Yeah. Öz 
Uzbekistan. Oh, good. There's lots of Uzbekistan uh, that lives here in Edmonton. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots and lots. You guys have any questions? Let me know. It says eight people are watching me. No, nine now. Now, hi, welcome to my channel. This is Frida. Greetings from. Hi, Frida. When you buy two, get one free. It's like getting, yeah. Vilo, yeah. I like the um, yeah. I like the fifty percent off coupon, but you only can buy one item. That's another thing. But uh, I remember uh, these were on sale for six fifty. Six fifty. I miss those. No, Katavir, I don't visit Turkey that often because we have a mortgage to pay, and it's it's not easy to go there because it's expensive. Just me and my husband cost us because we have to pay rent there too when you. It's expensive. We don't go there often. But when I was young, yeah. Hi, yeah, I got a fall. <laughs> yeah, I got a false. Oh, you need yarn giveaway. I don't. I don't know when I will be doing. Uh, October has the free shipping. I like October, and it's just before my birthday. I did so many yarn giveaway last year. It was my 50th birthday, and I did lots and lots and lots. Well, couple, most of, well, one, two, three packages came back because one didn't give me the address correct, and I can't. Oh, the phone is ringing. Great. Oh, let me just check the phone. But how do I do this? Oh, just one moment. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Uh, I only give my phone number to emergency, so uh, that's the reason I ran. It's not emergency, but yeah, that's the reason I only give my home phone number for emergencies. And I thought it was an emergency. You, you know, you never know because my husband's he left, he went to work, right? So that's the reason I ran, or else I don't answer. <laughs> Other than uh, it's, uh, I don't give up my cell phone. I only give up my home phone number when it's only an emergency. What channels, Bilo? Uh, sorry, don't understand, Nancy. Oh, your uh, congratulations on 50th birthday. Yeah, I was talking about my birthday. Yeah, it's uh, I gave away so much yarn, and then the yarn, they came back. Sweden, I think. I couldn't get the yarn back. I feel so bad about that gorgeous yarn that I mailed to her. And then, I don't know, two months later, it came back. But I'm here, and I can't go to the post office because I was in Turkey when I shipped it. So I uh, kind of hesitate to 
do a giveaway is because uh, I had yarn come back and it's not nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess uh, that's all I can see. I just wanted to show you my yarn haul and I just wanted to talk about myself and I, I just wanted to see how this live goes and it's been an hour. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. Well, nine people popped in and I have 12 likes so thank you so much I really appreciate it yeah I'm on Facebook I have uh, if you go on to my links if you go on to my tutorials well here right now I couldn't uh, type anything because it's the first time I did a live but other than that uh, I, I have Facebook I have Instagram I have fan Facebook uh, I have uh, Flickr <laughs> I used to have uh, that was very popular Glad to see you. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate your feedback and your comments. And uh, yeah, so uh, there are a couple of tutorials coming, but I need to finish this uh, order that I received from United UK. Nice, nice to say. Yeah, I, I love fans. <laughs> I see you on Instagram too. Just checking in Florida. Hi, Margaret. Happy. Thank you. Yeah. So if I do a yarn giveaway, Nancy, I will do it on October because for Canada, it's free shipping. And you know, for Canada, Canada Post, even with the little box, I just shipped. I paid like $43. So it's, it's very expensive. So I would prefer when it's a uh, free shipping, at least I can send you some yarn on October. Okay. Um, yeah. Again, uh, come to Michigan. Yeah. You live in Michigan. Oh, we... You know what, in Michigan, uh, that's the place that first time I walked, that's what my parents say. I first time I walked when I was a uh, one year old. Yeah, I, 10 months I think I walked in Michigan. <laughs> so we did live in Michigan, Minnesota, Michigan. Oh my goodness, Chicago, everywhere that we, I, I, you can think about. Texas, Arizona, <laughs> California, everywhere we lived. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Florida was very hot. Margaret, you're from Florida? Oh my goodness, I don't know how you stand that hot. We, we lived there in one year in Miami. Oh my goodness, it was so hot. Sorry, only. Viola, sorry, only do YouTube. Can you do some other really easy patterns for us? Less experienced crochets? Oh my goodness. I will try. Yeah, I do... Uh, you're what? Yeah. Well, uh, let me know what you want to do. You can uh, write it on the comments what you want to learn. I will happy to show you. I would be happy to show you. No problem at all. Yeah, no problem. Well, I will read the comments later and I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you very much for... Uh, being with me i really appreciate it it was fun it's been over an hour oh my goodness i can't believe it just wanted to show the yarns that i have purchased oh my goodness cotton yeah it's not kid these are not kitchen cottons going to october feast in the boy hopefully it's uh it's five o'clock here in edmonton alberta so good evening to everybody and hope you enjoy the rest of the day. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends. Happy crocheting, happy kneading, and take care. Oh my goodness, how do I shut this thing? I don't have a clue. Do you guys know? <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's shut this. I really don't. Oh, I can flip this. I didn't know. Something I just saw. Okay, let's see. Okay. I don't know how to shut this. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's uh, you're in the, you're in the East Coast. That's why. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Good evening. Yeah, I will do another. Yeah, I will do another uh, one uh, live. Alive. Uh, Maybe I'll put it on my Instagram, and then uh, at least people can see, right? Yeah, maybe I will uh, try to figure that out. I, I wasn't organized. I went to the post office and I came back and I said, let me show my uh, yarn because I'm going to start the custom order that I received. 
because that's going to take me at least five days so I'm going to focus on that and um, I even take pictures or videos and put it on my Instagram so check my Instagram yeah everything pops up there I think I need to press the X button I don't you know you don't have X is well I have my fan Facebook too if you go to my uh, fan face you have Facebook Nancy if you have Facebook I also have my fan Facebook I post pictures there there as well yeah and then be my Facebook friend I have over a thousand uh, Facebook Facebook friends <laughs> okay I'm gonna press the X I think that's when I'm gonna lose you so uh, goodbye everybody are you sure you want to stop yes